Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back. We're continuing our kind of special BTV series here with designer George Hicks, taking a look at kind of where it all began. So this is the Sikorsky Sea King. This was the first model that George designed for Brick Mania. As you can see, he decided not to start small whatsoever. <laughs> so we're gonna take a closer look at this bad boy right after the intro. Okay, so like we said, this is the Sikorsky Sea King designed by George Hicks. More specifically, uh, this is the Sea King that re helped uh, in the recovery of the Gemini capsule. Um, other than just the scale of this build, you can see that there's a lot going on. There's details all over the place. So George, how did this come to be and uh, where did you start? Well, originally a couple of years ago, I built a Sea King. Just It was actually my first helicopter. I was just mm -hmm. trying to get into other areas of uh, military Lego. And uh, the scale wasn't quite right. It was more of a 140th, maybe almost 145. Mm -hmm. So it, it's always been on my list. I wanted to go back and update it and uh, try some newer techniques that I'd discovered over the years. And uh, started working on this and Dan and I were talking back and forth. And next thing I know, he's like, hey, I'd like to make that into a kit. Mm -hmm. And originally it was the Apollo version, the 66 that everybody knows so well. And uh, this year's space race theme was Gemini. Right. So we uh, we changed the colors up. Had to adjust a few windows because this is an earlier model. And uh, I built my prototype, put it out there on Instagram, and it was pretty popular among the fans. And it took everything inside of me not to reveal that hey, this is an upcoming <laughs> kit. So when Dan f sent me a photo of the just the main structure of it sitting on his desk. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh man, this is really happening. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when he finally released it with uh, Johnny, John Canapa's little mash helicopter on a story one day, I'm like, okay, this is, we're going down a rabbit hole. Let's see where this goes. It's actually so happening, wow. It's, uh, it's been a fun ride. Very, very cool. So walk us through this build a little bit. Obviously there's there's printing all over the place. You can see doors, you can see the, the hinge, which by the way, props on you for hiding it up in the, uh, up in the top like that. I love how clean it looks. Um, there's some unique features to the rotors. Uh, just tell me a little bit more about the build itself. Yeah, say the printing is everywhere excellent. I mean, it's a huge model, so I was really happy that we could do almost everything in prints. I think there's only one sticker back here for the tail code. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a sticker. Nope, not a sticker over there. Uh, then the, on the front here, got a sticker for the number. Everything else you see is printed. So this was very very part intensive on the printing which mm -hmm. i think just really makes it pop so uh as dylan said we'll just pop the rotor off here and be easier to handle some things the rotor does fold up if you want to display it we can show that but uh do have a winch hidden up in here and uh, that this was before i knew dan was hiding them in the blackhawks yep. but i hadn't bought one of the blackhawks with the winch hidden so i'm like well how did he do that <laughs> took me took me a little bit to figure it out but you can pull a string out that and then, is awesome. I mean, if you're going to have the divers included, you, yes. you, gotta, so you, gotta, you gotta, gotta have a way to get them back up. Yep, yep. So, and I always thought that this helicopter was actually used for recovering the capsules, but it was just the astronauts. Right. The, the ship would come by and pick up the and capsule. pick up the capsule with a crane, which I learned a lot in researching for this. So, it does have a functional winch. Door here on the side does pop open. Like that, not like that. I even kind of like the, the, the lineup of studs on the side. <laughs> yes. Say, the build itself transitions from studs on its side at the base mm -hmm. and then goes to studs up. That was the easiest way I could get the shaping and still have some interior room, yeah. which we can pop the top off here and look inside because there's some awesome Easter egg goodies easy that in is. here. Look at that. Look how easy that was to pop that off. It's literally like a little helicopter playset if you want it to be. <laughs> you say, typically I design things that's just for show. And with this, this was the first uh, model. I'm like, well, people are going to want to probably play with this or mm -hmm. post figures. And I've seen some great action shots of this thing with figures inside. And uh, saw one guy, I can't remember his name. He turned it into like a gunship. Nice. So I'm like, oh, that's freaking fantastic. Yeah. I've never seen one of those. But uh, yeah, we'll just pop this off, be easier to get some detail in. Cool. The inside instrument panel that Slam designed turned out better than I thought it would. All the reference photos I looked at and 
then uh, I got the kit and started putting it together and I'm looking, I'm like, what are those buttons? <laughs> they look like uh, a certain video game controller mm -hmm. there on the right hand side. So, <laughs> excellent. Slamming his Easter eggs. I, Almost I, as notorious as Landon and his. I love Slam's Easter eggs. <laughs> so, and then we've got a printed steam instrument panel because real pilots fly steam. And then a little first aid kit here on the wall. I don't know how easy that is to yep, see. Yep, I got it. But, uh, I mean, the printing on this is just fantastic. It's actually easier to pop the door off here when you've got the top off. But then you can stow it to the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hence those awesome action shots you see people posing this. Yeah, thing because and you can then... Pose that door like that and then have the winch incorporated and it's awesome. You can place the divers on here, little studs in there to hold them. So they can get posed and ready to jump out and <laughs> Look at that. save some astronauts from their capsule floating, bobbing in the water. Mm -hmm. uh, tail does fold. Oh, okay, yeah. Just got to pop this awesome printed tile here off. Yeah, and look at that tail rotor too, my goodness. And then it just stows away to the side. So if you want to do a giant ship diorama with this. It'd look right at home. It'd look right at home. So we'll fold the rotors up and try to get them back on there. Boy, so you really, yeah, you really not only captured like the, the details of this specific aircraft, but you got all the functions in there too. It does everything it's supposed to do. I so. tried to cram everything in there as much <laughs> as I could without making it too fragile or not playable. It's an impressive feat for build number one. Yeah. Even the I, hatch uh, door on the side there too. That's, yeah, wow. That's I definitely cool. went big with this one. And I think people were pumped to see this as an inclusion to Space Race Bricks because it was kind of, I mean, it obviously fit very well with the theme, but it was a little bit of a different approach as to, you know, what the Gemini project would be consistent of. And as long as I've been a fan of BKM, I've heard a lot of people, we want to see King, mm -hmm. we want to see King. I'm like, well, here it is. George is here to deliver. <laughs> There's a few other things. I know some people are going to be happy about. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But uh, That's how it is around here. <laughs> I've got to get back and get finished on those. Keep building. So obviously we, we saw the divers as well, but then it does come with these three pilots over here as well. You can see the uh, professional brick separator position behind them. <laughs> All printed. Crew of five. Really, there's just nothing lacking in this in this build. I mean, you no, get all the bridge elements a... you like, you get all the play functions you like, it's sturdy, it's swooshable, and it's part of a unique theme, and it's an incredibly iconic craft in itself. It's an excellent, excellent kit, in my opinion, but that's just me. So I've seen a lot of people, they were pretty happy with the purchase, so I hope it continues that way. I'm sure people will, will look forward to, to future restocks of this. Is there anything else in the model itself that you want to go over? I think that's about it. Say the shaping of the nose here was uh, probably one of the biggest challenges yeah, I had. I, I went back and forth uh, five or six different times trying to get that and then the sponsons here. Oh, yeah, one thing I haven't talked about, you can actually fold the landing gear. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. So you just got to pop that off. Wow. <laughs> But they do tuck in and it's just not just, missing anything just right about the right scale of how far the landing gear stick out mm -hmm. so uh overall i was really pleased with this first uh design was there a lot of uh, part changes when you were working on that nose until you kind of found something that you were like yes this is the part i need yeah so i went back and forth on uh i don't know four or five different techniques different pieces trying to get that shape just right mm -hmm. and uh, i think it turned out pretty good and uh at some point it, People have pointed out, and I know for a fact I had an issue with it too. It's kind of tricky getting everything stuck together here in the front, but mm -hmm. once you do, it's pretty solid. It's got so. that shape. Plus, sometimes that's just, it's like, there's a reason they call them advanced level builds. If you, uh, if you want to get that shape down, sometimes you really got to invent some creative techniques, and so that's part of the deal. Say, we swing for the fence and uh, <laughs> hope it sticks. That is exactly right. So there it is, Sprick Maniacs, the Sikorsky Sea King designed by George Hicks. We finally got to take a closer look at this. Uh, last time I checked, there was still some available on BrickMedia.com, but if there isn't now, they will return in the future. Thank you all very much for watching.